Good morning everyone. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. I hope you're all doing really well and I have noticed a lot of new faces over here on the YouTube channel so thank you so much for watching my videos and subscribing if you have done. It really does mean the world. Today is Tuesday. I have got some really beautiful autumn pieces to show you. I'm gonna sit down and we can go through everything. Okay, let's jump into it. So I have lots of new pieces that I picked up last week. Um, some things have been arriving, some things I picked up when I was shopping, as you would have seen in the last vlog. And oh my goodness, I have some really, really good things. So I'm gonna show you them all, I'm gonna try them on, show you how I'm styling them up, and I'm really excited. They'll all be linked below, so yeah, let's just jump straight into it. I actually still have quite a few things in my Amazon basket, but I did order this. And I actually ordered this thinking that Jack could also wear it. Um, I was thinking this would be a really good thing to like chuck on when I'm at home and the weather's not great and it's chilly and we're working outside. I thought this would be quite good, but on reflection, I think it's actually a bit too big. Um, so I think this is gonna be for Jack, but I thought I would show it to you anyway because I'm going to reorder it in a smaller size. This is like a pullover fleece. So it's got like a quarter zip at the front it's this really lovely forest green colour with brown piping. Just a really simple fleece, kind of similar to the shuffle fleeces, but this is from a brand called Game and it was from Amazon. So it was super inexpensive, I think maybe like 20 or 30 pounds, but I just think this is a little bit too big for me because it does come down to my knees. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to order a smaller one and Jack can have this, but yeah, love this. I think I will wear things like this so much with my gilet, my coat, leggings, boots, just things like that. I'm really good to have in my wardrobe to just chuck on. And we actually have a really big cupboard under the stairs, which is kind of like a wardrobe. It's got a rail and a shelf at the top. And that is basically the country wardrobe. So anything related to outerwear, to wear outside in the garden and in the fields is in that cupboard. So we've got boots, gilets, fleeces, country jackets, coats, all of that stuff is in there. So yeah, just really easy to grab whenever I need. Before I jump into all the clothes, I want to show you my very exciting delivery, which came in this gigantic bag, absolutely huge. Um, I actually always keep big bags like this because they're so useful to have. But my new bag has arrived. So if you watched my autumn wish list video, you will already know what this is. And if you didn't, I'll leave it linked below because I think I included some really lovely pieces that are on my wish list. I haven't looked at this yet. I've been saving it to film. So this arrived on Saturday actually, and it's now Tuesday. So I'm really excited to unbox this. Oh my goodness me, this is actually stunning. Look at this. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. Oh my God, I just love it. I'm so happy that I decided to get this color. Okay, let me take all of this stuffing out and we can do a little review. Okay, so this is the midi size, so it's quite big. They do actually do the New York bag in just the New York, which is a little bit smaller. I actually saw it in Liberty the other day and it's a really nice size, but you definitely can't fit a laptop or tons of stuff in. But what I just think is amazing about this, which I didn't actually really realize, is that it opens up huge so can you see how much space is in this bag because of this kind of concertina effect it almost opens into like one big square which is brilliant because you can fit so much in here this actually could even be a very small overnight bag for example if i ever stay at nadia's or georgia's i never take anything with me because they've got all the things i need they've got the cleansers and the serums and pajamas and all the stuff that I would want. So I literally only bring with me a couple of bits. So this bag would be so good for that. You could just put your makeup bag in here and maybe a different outfit and yeah. 
Oh my god, I love it. I also really love the size of this strap because I think you can put it on your shoulder really easily um, and it's not uncomfortable. Oh, I love all of the gold hardware. It's got a little inside pocket as well, which is always good. So this is in the chocolate brown suede, the New York Midi from D'Amelio. And I love it. I mean, from the background, you can tell that I am obsessed with brown, but this is just stunning. So I'm really excited to start using this. The sun is very in and out today. So apologies for the lighting. I feel like it's gonna be all over the place, but let's jump into clothes because I've got some really gorgeous bits and I actually still need to try quite a few of these on. So you'll see the cutaways and I'll try them all on. Starting off with what I'm wearing right now, this cardigan is from H&M and I saw this in store and I've seen it online loads and I kept thinking, oh, I really love it. I loved the color, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it because the description says sparkle and I'm not really one for sparkles in my everyday wardrobe. So I wasn't sure, but when I saw it in store, in person, I thought, well, it's not really sparkle and I love it. So I'll show you it up close. It's a really nice woven knit. It's actually a bit more casual than a lot of these gold buttoned cardigans. I got this in a size small, which is actually quite big. So I probably would recommend sizing down and getting a smaller size if you can, just to stop it being so long on the arms and kind of bulky. But I really like that because I think this is gonna be a bit more of a casual cardigan for me, um, just to throw on every day, just a really easy chuck on, little bit of warmth. But I love it. I love the colour. It's kind of like an oatmeal-y, camel-y colour. Little bit of sparkle running through. The thread that's gold is a little bit shiny, but it's not sparkly. So I think they marketed that a little bit wrong because I love this. I think it's so lovely. So first up, you would have seen if you watched my wishlist video, I had a few things from Massimo Duty on there. I did actually place the order and I picked up all the pieces that I showed you. So starting off with the brown tank top. I wear tank tops every single day pretty much. I'm wearing one right now. I wear them all the time. They're just my favourite top to put on. They're comfortable. I feel quite smart in them. I don't, you don't have a lot on show because of the high neck. I just really like them. So when I saw the chocolate brown, I knew I needed it to add to my autumn wardrobe. There is definitely a chocolate brown theme in here. So if you hate brown, this you're probably going to hate this. <laughs> but it's just my favorite color for autumn. I love it. I think it just goes with any coloring, any hair color, any person can suit chocolate brown. And it's just a little bit different to black. I just love it. So I've actually worn this quite a bit already. I wore it on my trip with Forsley Hall last week and it was so comfortable and soft and I was so happy that I got it. So I actually think I might pick up this specific tank top in a couple of other colors because it's a little bit thinner than my Novo London ones. These ones are super thick, really lovely for winter, um, but sometimes it's nice to have a bit of a thinner one that is just, yeah, a little bit different. So I got this in an extra small and it fits perfectly, so stay true to size. Another cardigan, I have actually worn this so much already and I am so happy I bought it. I love it, I'm obsessed with it. If you watched the last vlog, you would have already seen me wearing this. So this is the Massimo Duty Cream Cardigan. I mean, I don't really know if I need to say too much about this, it's just gorgeous. And the material of this knit is very thick and I love the fact that it's got this kind of like ribbed detail to it. I think it feels quite smart. It almost feels like a hybrid between a jacket and a cardigan, which I think is quite nice. It's a really heavy, thick material. I love the gold buttons. It's just a very simple cardigan. You just can't go wrong with it. I love it. I got this in a size extra small and it's the perfect fit. Not too oversized, not too tight. Yeah, so recommend getting your normal size in this one as well. I love these cardigans. You guys know the striped cardigan that I wear all summer long is one of my favorites. So to have it in cream, I think is just gonna be so good in my wardrobe. I've already worn this loads already. I love the size of it. I love the shape. I got this in an extra small and it's just the perfect size. It's a little bit boxy, not too long on the arms. Love the material and the buttons. I think it's perfect. 
and I think this is currently out of stock from Massimo Duty, but there are so many of these available on different websites, so I'm going to leave a couple of other ones linked below in case you are on the hunt for a gorgeous cream cardigan. The next thing I picked up from Massimo Duty was this really lovely brown shirt, and this is actually a little bit of a different shade of brown. I was kind of thinking it was going to be more of a cool tone like this, but if I pair these together, you can kind of see it's a little bit warmer, almost on the kind of burgundy side of brown, which I don't not love. I just was expecting different. So I think maybe just bear that in mind. I think shopping online is always difficult with colors and things, but I actually love it. I think it's beautiful. It's this really lovely, lightweight, sheer silk. And I can't remember the name of this silk, but it's actually got kind of like a crepe effect to it. So it's not actually creased. It's just got this almost like textured effect to it, which I really like because I think it kind of casuals down a shirt a little bit. Often shirts can feel really smart and really dressy, but having that relaxed feel to it, I love. And this is so lightweight and airy. So I think this is gonna be a really good one to wear in autumn this year, because I think autumn is gonna be a little bit warmer this year. So um, yes, I think this is gonna be a really lovely option. And I would wear this with everything. Jeans, knee-high boots, a skirt, shorts, with a lovely belt. I just think this is gonna go with so much in my wardrobe. I got this in a size 34, just so it was a little bit more slouchy. I like that kind of slouchier effect with a shirt, rather than being quite tight and feeling very kind of teachery workwear vibes. Um, and yes, it fits perfect. And here is the shirt on. I am in love with it. I think this colour is just perfect. I love the lightweightness of this. It's so airy and soft. It just feels like a really easy throw on shirt. And even this outfit as a whole, I think, is just a really nice workwear. This would be so nice in an office. But also if you're working from home and even if your style is just quite smart like me, I think this is just going to be amazing. I'm actually quite excited to layer this with like a v-neck jumper or something. I think it will be really lovely. So yeah, definitely going to keep this shirt. I love it. As you would have seen in my vlog last week, I went to And Other Stories and tried on lots of things. They actually had some really gorgeous bits in store, but I came home with the two favourites from the video. So starting off with the trousers, the chocolate brown suit trousers that I have fallen in love with. And from my Instagram DMs, I think a lot of you guys have fallen in love with them too. I just think these are going to be such a staple in my autumn wardrobe. I always reach for a suit trouser. You probably are sick of seeing the Lily Silk white suit trousers that I wear all the time, but I just love them. They're so comfortable, they're so elevated. I would honestly much rather wear a suit trouser than a pair of jeans. I feel like, I just feel more put together, but also more comfortable. So having a brown pair is gonna be amazing with my autumn wardrobe. I love the fact that these are quite wide leg and the fact that they have belt loops so you can still style up a belt with these. I got these in a size 34 and I was very much in between size 32 and 34. And other stories, trousers are a tricky one for me because I can either get the 32 and they just feel a little bit tight when I'm tucking in knitwear and things. Or I can get the 34 and they're a little bit too big, but I can tuck in knitwear. So I decided to go for the 34 option. I think it's just going to be a little bit more wearable. And I'm obviously going to wear these when I'm layering up and when it's cold. So I think it's going to be good to have that bit of extra room to layer up some knitwear. Okay, here's the chocolate brown suit trousers on. I thought I would just stand back a little bit so you can see them a bit better, but I love these. I think I am going to wear these so much. They fit me perfectly. They are a little bit long, but I can just easily take those up with some Wonderweb just so they sit a little bit more kind of on top of a shoe rather than onto the floor but I love them. They fit me so well. I'm really glad I got the size 34 because I've got a little bit of space, but they're not too baggy. Um, yeah, super happy. I love them. And this outfit actually with the chocolate brown knit and the chocolate brown suit trousers 
is a real favorite. I love this. I think it just looks perfect. And then in Under the Stories, I picked up this blazer, which is just going to be a core piece in my autumn wardrobe. I think, I know I mentioned to you guys before in my autumn wish list about how I kind of have like two different wardrobes. One of them is quite smart and chic, and then my other one is very country and a bit more relaxed. I think this is gonna work for both, and I know that this is just gonna get so much wear. It almost looks a little bit vintage, which I really like. I love the fact that it's not super oversized, so I can style this up quite easily. It still feels quite smart. I could even put like a little brooch on here and just kind of jazz it up a bit. It's a really nice dog tooth check. So it's kind of a mix between like a camel and a chocolate brown. My favorite colors. <laughs> and I got this in a size 32, which is a UK four. And this is actually quite oversized for a 32. I originally thought that I'd pick this up in a 34 and thought okay I'm gonna go and get a 32 because it's a little bit bigger than I would have liked but yeah I got the smallest one so it is a little bit oversized in the original sizing so just bear that in mind if you are thinking of getting it I would recommend to get your normal size or even size down if you really don't want that boxy oversized fit but you'll see from the cutaways I think it's a really really gorgeous fit here is the blazer on absolutely in love with this i just think this is going to work so well with all of my existing clothes i love the shape of this i love the fact that it's not too oversized but it's still a little bit roomy it doesn't feel kind of super tight absolutely in love with this color and pattern the length of the sleeves is perfect i love the fact that it's a little bit long line so it's not a crop but it's not too long that it feels like a coat just absolutely love this. This outfit is something that I think I'm gonna be wearing quite a lot in autumn. I just love it. I literally think this blazer is perfect. Absolutely made for me. <laughs> and I think I mentioned in the last vlog that I popped into Zara just to have a little browse, see what was in, see if anything caught my eye. And I had a couple of pairs of trousers on my wish list. I didn't really mind where they were from, but I just knew what type of trouser that I wanted for the autumn season. And I saw some very similar ones in there. So I decided to pick them up and I thought I'll go home, try them on, style them up. And if I don't like them, I'll just return them. Um, so these are the trousers. I haven't tried them on yet. So you'll see the cutaways in a minute. And that's when I first try them on. <laughs> So first of all, it are these suit trousers. Now, these don't have belt loops, which did kind of sway me a little bit. I did think, oh, I don't know. But I really love this material. It's almost like a linen cotton. It's really lovely. I love the color of these. I love the muted beige tone. I just think they're gorgeous. Almost like a stone color, which I think just goes with everything. I quite like the fact that they're just a straight leg, but these do look quite baggy on the legs, so I'm not sure if they're gonna be my favorite style. I got these in a size extra small, and yeah, they just, you see what I mean? They just look a little bit like there's a lot of material. So we're gonna have to see with these, but I really like the darts down the front. I think they look quite smart. And I think wearing these in autumn with some loafers, a tank top, a little cardigan or a shirt, I think they're gonna be a really nice option, especially because I wear suit trousers every day. These are the Zara trousers on. I really love them. I love the color. The fit is really nice. However, I do feel like they could just be a little bit less material. Um, it feels like there's just quite a lot of material around the leg, but the length is actually really good, surprisingly. I always find Zara trousers can be a little bit bigger. I tend to try to size down if I can. These are already an extra small, so if you are thinking of getting these, just bear that in mind. Um, they are quite roomy, but I think these are going to work really nicely with knitwear because I can tuck kind of like bigger knitwear jumpers in and I can layer. I like to wear base layers when it's cold so yeah I really like them I think these are going to be a really nice easy throw on pair of trousers I just do wish that they were a little bit less material so potentially I could look at getting them tailored 
um, because I love, love this colour and I really like the fit. I love that they're quite cropped. I like that they're quite high waisted. Um, so we shall see. I've still got the tags in so I can make up my mind. Now this one is a little bit different for me, but I have a pair of jeans that are very similar to this in white and last autumn and the autumn before I wore them so much but white isn't really the most practical colour especially living in the countryside and being around Jack's family a lot with the dogs every time I wear white it gets filthy so I wanted a colour that was a bit more day to day and a bit more seamless in the autumn palette and I saw these and I thought you know what if these fit me and look nice these are going to be really great these are the marine jeans in stone grey from Zara and they're like a flare, a cropped flare jean. I think the key with jeans is to make sure that they cut off at your ankle so you've got that little bit of ankle showing, especially if you're not wearing a really tight top, you kind of want to balance the proportions. So if these went down to the floor, like down to my shoes, they, I would look so frumpy and they just wouldn't suit me. So. I might have to cut these a little bit because I do find trousers are always way too long for me but I really love them. I think the colour is so nice. I think this would go really nicely with my wardrobe already and it's quite similar to the suit trousers but a little bit darker. Just a really nice kind of oatmeal-y stone shade and yeah, I really love them. They've got big pockets on the back, really simple at the front, belt loops and a button and then super wide leg with a frayed hem. So we're gonna see how these go. I really hope these look nice because I really like them and I think I could style these up in some really nice ways. So fingers crossed. I got these in a size 34. I usually find Zara jeans to be quite small so I could have even gone up another size really but we'll see, hopefully they fit. Here are the jeans on. This shape is just perfect these fit me like a dream i absolutely love them you can just see how high-waisted they are they really kind of like suck you in um i love the pockets on the back the length is actually not too bad i always find zara trousers way too long but i think this length is actually okay i think i potentially may just take them up a tiny bit just so they've got that little bit more of a cropped flare to them so they're a little bit more like this just so that when I wear them with trainers and loafers when it's a little bit colder um I've got a bit more ankle on show obviously if that's cut it will sit a bit nicer but I just think the length of this isn't really my style however I do really love this length I think if I had this length with some heeled boots or some heels for the evening I really love them and this colour is just perfection. I'm so happy I got these. They fit me like a dream. They're so soft. I think these are going to be a very good winner in my wardrobe. This is a random one, but when I was in H&M, I picked up this cardigan and I also got some new pyjamas, which I've already showed you. And I saw this little bow and I thought it was so cute. And I love wearing bows in my hair in autumn, winter. I tend to not really wear them in summer. I don't know why, but... I saw this and I thought it was adorable. It's like a cream velvet bow and I just thought I could do a little half up half down or a ponytail or sometimes I do a plait and put this like at the bottom. I just loved it, I thought it was really sweet. I think it was about 10 pounds and I like having little accessories like hair things, belts, different bits to just jazz up an outfit. I've shown you a lot of trousers and tops and things that are very kind of flexible between the end of summer and the beginning of autumn. I think I can style these pieces up for any temperature, really. I am still on the hunt for some really beautiful autumn dresses. I'd love to get some shirt dresses, potentially some knitted ones, maybe some kind of like satiny silks or cotton with some nice patterns on or something. I need to have a little browse, but I did pick up this from Charlie London and I actually have this already in grey. And I love it. I wore it quite a lot last year, actually. Um, it was a Christmas Day option for me. So I picked up the khaki green because I am loving green so much this year. This is essentially a two-piece. So you've got the knitted jumper, which is just 
gorgeous. I love it. I love Charlie London's knits. They are so soft and they wash and wear really well. They actually come in one size, which I never understand how brands can have things in one size, but anyway, fits lovely. It's quite oversized, lovely polo neck, and it's quite a kind of cropped boxy fit. Love the color. And then the other part of this cord is the skirt, which I just love. And again, I could wear this with anything else. I could wear them separate together, I love the skirt, it's this ribbed, knitted, midi skirt, probably a little bit more like a maxi on me, but really, really gorgeous, probably comes down to my ankles, and I think even this styled up with a tank top and a little cardigan on the shoulders would be so lovely, and then obviously you can wear them both together with some knee-high boots, a little crop jacket on the shoulders, oh, I just love it. I love autumn fashion so much. Here is the full set. So we've got the khaki knit jumper and the skirt together. This is just the softest material in the world. I cannot wait for knitwear season. So snuggly and soft, but having a skirt just kind of elevates it a little bit. You could wear some knee high boots with this or some ankle boots, maybe a leather jacket or a blazer and it just feels really, really lovely. It's such a nice alternative to a knitted dress because you've got two options and two ways to wear it. You could obviously kind of tuck it in a little bit like I have done here, or you could just wear it out if you prefer kind of more of a slouchy look. You could even put a belt around your waist. I just love it. I think this is beautiful and I love the colour. This khaki green, forest green colour is stunning. It's not really coming up as well on camera. Maybe you can kind of see there. Just gorgeous. I love it. So yeah, that is everything that I picked up. I've actually got quite a lot and that's probably the most I have bought in one sitting in a very, very, very long time. But I've cleared out my wardrobe quite a lot in the last year. Since we moved out of the flat, I got rid of a lot of things. I gave a lot of stuff to charity. I think I took 15 bags to charity. And it was just things that I'd had for such a long time. I'm a real creature of, if I've got a black polo neck jumper and it's got a couple of holes in, but it still works, and I've had it since I was 15, it still works, so I'll just keep it. I decided before we moved that I would be really strict and if things were broken or if I'd had something a really long time and it was just so worn and needed replacing and even if I had things that I had actually bought and just hadn't really worn, I would just start fresh. So that is what I did and I just really like adding new pieces that are timeless and versatile rather than kind of trend pieces. So I hope you enjoyed this little segment of the vlog and we can get back to the vlog. The farmer has just dropped off some new neighbours. How adorable is this? I don't even know if you can see on the camera because they're so far away, but we have sheep in our field. How adorable. Oh my goodness. Look at them all eating the fresh grass. I think these are the sheep that live in the field back there behind the woods and these are the ones that I usually see. If you follow me on Instagram you probably would have seen these guys a lot because every time I walk through the woods they are always standing right there. Um, how adorable. I really hope they come really close to the fence and try and eat this grass here because that would just be the cutest thing if we had a sheep really close. Oh my goodness I've just spotted out the window the sheep are right next to the fence. I'm gonna go out and try and get them on camera. I'm gonna be really quiet because they get spooked so easily. Oh, they're right there. I'll turn you around.
<laughs> of course, they all ran off. <laughs> oh, how amazing. This is literally a dream. I just love them.